Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, I am going to make a confession to you. I have a deep, dark secret that I'm going to let you in on, and then we're going to have a tour of my obsession. Okay, so my confession is that I am completely and totally addicted to cookware and kitchen gadgets. So much so that I have an entire room on the first floor of my house dedicated to my collection. Now, a lot of people collect a lot of different weird things. I have a friend who told me just last night that she had a collection of rocks. My collection is just the same, it just happens to be related to the kitchen. Now, how my collection started. Let me tell you, when me and Eric first met, I knew absolutely nothing about cooking. And I only had a couple of mismatched pots and a couple of dishes, and that's all that I had. And on one of our first dates, we went to a factory outlet mall to go shopping and have lunch. And that is where my obsession began. Okay, so on this trip to the factory outlet, we were in California. We went to a particular store that sell, sold cookware and kitchen gadgets. And they were having this really cool sale where they had these big bins and you go in and you dig through the bin and everything in there was $5, right? And it was filled with cookware. And I walked out of there with a couple of saucepans and saute pans, all classic Farberware with the black handle. It was cheap and I just thought that I was on my way to becoming a cook. Little did I know that that started an obsession for me that has gone on for more than 15 years. And yes, I can say that it irritates everybody around me. It irritates Eric. It irritates my friends and family. They think that it is hilarious. But frankly, we all have these things that we do. And mine just happens to be a lot of fun to me. So my collection really has grown in both quantity and quality. I started out with some really inexpensive tools. And although they worked for me when I was in college, as I graduated and moved on, I decided I wanted to work on the quality of my collection. So <laughs> I began, I guess, shopping instead of cooking, because I didn't really do actually that much cooking. I mostly was shopping. Uh, interruption, if anybody knows Amy very well, she may not know how to cook very many different types of dishes at this point, but she's getting better, but she looks better. That's the big part about Eric thinks that all I want to do is have fancy tools and I can't actually use them. And yes, that is the case a little bit, because actually I love to shop. But along this process, and when we started getting involved in competitive cooking, I've got a lot more pressure on me to actually use all this stuff. I don't think I'm alone. There's so many people out there that buy tons of kitchen gadgets and you never actually use them. They just sort of get thrown off into the back of the cupboard and your cupboards are like full of all this kitchen stuff that you never actually use. So when we started on our journey of competitive cooking, I decided that I was going to learn how to use this collection that I have. And that was sort of my mission. And that's one of the reasons we, you know, brought out a camera and we brought you into our process of this, learning how to cook to use the actual equipment that I've bought over the years. Are you missing little things? Before we did competition, didn't we do some little family yard sales where you would upgrade? Well, Eric always made fun because every time I would buy cookware, I sort of started upgrading. And then when we would have a family yard sale or whatever, I was getting rid of the less quality stuff. 
and then it would just make room for me to buy more stuff. My previous house didn't have a lot of room in it. My collection was sort of overflowing everywhere. It was in the garage, it was in the closet, it was you know, and a lot of stuff, to be honest with you, I was just hiding from Eric because uh, I didn't... chairs under the formal dining table? I didn't want him to know that I was buying this stuff, right? So he would see something and he would say, where did we get this? And I would say, ah, oh, we've had that for a while, right? And packages would come from UPS or FedEx and Eric would wonder where the boxes would come from and they would be in the garage. And I would say, oh no, I've had that for a while. And he said, I'm going to check the tracking number. And I would be like, hold on, right? Knowing that if he checked the tracking number on the package, it had just been delivered, right? So my collection grew over the years. Um, the quality of it grew the quantity of it grew and I got to the point where I was like I need to organize this somehow because if something is not like right in front of me I really won't use it. Amy feels she had a need to organize so she would use it. I felt she had a need to organize so she stopped buying them. In fact she used to put them in the basement and I thought we need to bring it up to the living room level to where she could be surrounded by them a little pan love and she might stop buying them so his idea in one of our houses that we lived in he okay so eric thought that i was needed to get organized so he bought some metal racks from costco and took our former old formal dining room and put the racks in there and I had, that was the start of the pan room in that little formal dining room. And since then in this house, we have a first floor office that we don't use as an office because there's only two of us and this house has got five bedrooms or so. So his office was moved upstairs and the first floor office became my new pan room. Okay, so I my collection has just really become, you know, one of these, I think, amazing things at this point. Um, it grew through, you know, my various trips to the outlet mall. I love the Williams-Sonoma outlet mall, outlet store. Um, we go there every year on Black Friday. If you're a friend of mine on Facebook, you will see pictures of my famous Black Friday outlet trips. Um, through me hanging out at Macy's too much and Williams-Sonoma and Charlottetown and all those fun cooking stores where Eric calls me sometimes and he says where are you and i say oh you know i'm driving home and he's like no you're not so sometimes he sort of catches me sneaking over there right um but it's been fun and now i'm gonna have a lot of fun using all these cookware and in the process learning to cook and now as a result of my obsession. I'm going to have a lot of fun learning to cook and as long as you would like to join me we could do this together. So to join me on this really interesting and challenging journey go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and we will learn to cook together. Um, also visit my website at www.amylearnstocook.com. Mm -hmm.